All right, I've had a few requests to look at today's chordal, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I've also had a suggestion to use a rose and built as starting words. Thought that sounded like a decent idea. So let's go with a rose and built. Okay, so that gets us all the vowels except for Y. Um, now this one over here, uh, I mean, the A is most likely after the R. Something like, oop, not S. Something like that seems like the most likely option. So it could be something like grace or grave or grape or a bunch of things like that drape so lots of options there up here is interesting we've got four of the letters the s feels like maybe at the end um something es potentially maybe you no r Reuse. No, it can't be that. ES at the end is possible. Something RES. But then the U would have to be first. Hmm. Not sure on that one. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking about doing a third word with new letters because I think I'm actually going to do NIMP. It's five new letters. It sees if there's a Y. I'm just going to try that. Okay, so there's no Y in any of them. So that was... No good. Now we do have all the letters up here now. Okay, so there's an M, so... Serum. I think serum could be it. Let's go with that. Okay, it's serum. Good. Now, that... Oh, there's an N here. So this is an A and an N. So something R-A-N-E. I think it's got to be. The N is not at the beginning. It, it can't be R-N. That seems unlikely. So crane. Crane seems like the most likely option there. Let's try crane. Okay, it was crane. Good. Now, this one... We don't have hardly anything for this first one. So I'm going to look at this one next. P-I and A. So... Ooh, it could be pizza. Could be pizza. I don't know if I'm quite ready to guess a double Z word, but that would be interesting. Pizza would be good. Um, pizza would be good anyways. I'm kind of hungry. But, uh, you know what? I, I like pizza. I feel like I feel like that has a good chance. I'm just going to go for it. Ah, okay, it wasn't pizza. Okay. Um, so... The A is second or fourth. The I, I mean, the I could be at the beginning, but that feels less likely. Towards the end seems better. So something A, P, I, maybe something like that, or... Hmm, interesting. So what's, what's that going to be, though? P, I, D? Vapid. Vapid would be good. I think Vapid's got a good chance, but I thought Pizza had a good chance, too. So let's try Vapid, though. Okay, it was Vapid. Good. Ooh, ooh. That helped a lot. Look at this. V-I... Vivid. No. Vigil. Vigil. We haven't used a G yet. Let's go with Vigil. Okay. Interesting. So that was some interesting words. So Serum is a little bit tricky, even though it's using, you know, fairly common letters. Crane wasn't too bad. Vigil and Vapid. Um, now, the getting Vapid helped a lot with Vigil because I got the V and and the and I ended up with the two L's, or the two I's. I mean, so um, even though Pizza was wrong, it did help because it it kind of limited the options and helped me get Vapid, which I I had no idea on Vigil until I got Vapid. So definitely very interesting. All right, so let me know how you did with today's chordal and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. So the way this works is it's like normal Wordle, but one of the clues is a lie. Ooh, okay, so, so we know the T and the O are in different words. We also know that there's two O's. Blank, I don't think that's, you know, we can't do blank. So I don't think we can do A and C. This works just like normal Wordle except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're gonna get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are. 